And here we go. Okay, so what is happening is really, really exciting. Um, the company, you know, we hired Pam Dean. You guys, some of you know um, that we've hired Pam. And Pam was our trainer at Leadership Retreat last year. She's this amazing woman with tons of direct sales experience and most recently came from 31. Um, she actually came to us because of Cindy Monroe, the founder of 31, and her relationship with our founders. Um, and now she is part of our home team and is the chief strategist Chief Strategizing Officer for the home team, and she's going to be doing some really, really cool things. Um, but the most um, kind of pressing and, and um, urgent thing that's happening right now is obviously we're rapidly approaching the, the finale of the qualifications for leadership. But then coupled with that, there is just a general sense of urgency within the company, and it was really clear in Holly's message um, to us at our at our training, um, or at our meetup last week or two weeks ago, that we need to be multiplying ourselves. We need, you know, Holly's vision of 10,000 CEs by the end of two, 2017 is totally doable, and it's also really, really important for the growth of this company, for what we want to achieve in the in in the world. Um, and and honestly, Pam's vision is. You know that trades of hope will be a hundred thousand compassionate entrepreneurs strong one day, and that what that means. You know, if you think about even even the ten thousand, that when one when one person becomes a compassionate entrepreneur, um, and and we're working on getting the actual numbers. So don't use this statistic at the moment, but um, but the idea is if one person becomes a CE, she's impacting five families, five lives across the globe. And and so that's 50,000 people if, if we have a compassionate entrepreneur um, team of 10,000 at the end of 2017. So that's 50,000 people that we're impacting, 50,000 communities, 50,000 families. I mean, just we need to be thinking big in terms of, of sharing the opportunity of Trades of Hope because it's not only important for the movement that we're trying to create in the world, but then also what it means for women in the United States and the, built, the business potential that, that we have. Um, so what we are doing, as, and the company is rolling this out tomorrow. So we had a director's call this morning, um, and I literally hung up at 11.30, and that's when I sent you guys this message. Um, to talk at 12 because it's such an exciting thing and there's so much urgency to it because it's happening next week. Um, we are doing, it's called Day of Hope, and it is a super, super momentum driving, excited, intentional, focused day of sponsorship and sharing the opportunity of Trades of Hope. And what's so cool about it is we're doing it as an entire company Every director is leading their individual teams through this process, choosing coaching teams within our teams to help us through this day, and setting goals um, for uh, sponsorship um, for, for our own personal teams for this single day. So the idea is that we're just going to have a day where we're all doing the same thing, basically. We're all talking about Trades of Hope, and we're generating a lot of excitement about the opportunity of becoming a compassionate entrepreneur. So let me tell you, I'm going to explain to you what the day is going to look like. You guys have been selected. I selected 20 women out of, out of the group, out of our team, because for various reasons. You guys are leaders. You guys are you know, either managers, master CEs, advanced CEs. You are very close to leadership. You are growing a business. You, have, you are working your business. You have a strong desire to build a team, um, you know, all different reasons that I picked you to be in this group, but I am I have picked you especially to be in this group as part of this coaching team because I need your help on this day. But I want you to dream with me for a moment about what this could look like. So there are twenty of you on this team. Every single one of you on this on this coaching team is a great sponsorer. You are wonderful at sharing the opportunity. Even if every single one of you sponsored one person on the Day of Hope. We will increase our team size by 20 in one day. But let's say that now your, your wheels should be already spinning about the women in your downline, in your team, that you're going to pick for your coaching team to, to reach out to as soon as we hang up from this call and, and think about your own personal teams. What if you could increase, you know, let's say you have five women on your team. Well, what if all of you brought on 
somebody on the day of hope. Then you have doubled the size of your team in a single day. So that's the kind of excitement and the and the you know what we're what we're going to be just like rah rah crazy about for this for this day of hope. Um, and the company is going to be 100% with us and cheering us on and rewarding us too, which is really kind of exciting. Um, so the way it's going to work is starting, um, so June 29th is the actual day of hope, right? So tomorrow, Friday, the home team is going to release the information about the day of hope and ask that anyone in the company, nationwide, anybody who wants to participate, and participating just means that you are committing to sharing about the opportunity of becoming a compassionate entrepreneur to at least one person on the day of hope. It doesn't mean that somebody has to join. It doesn't mean that somebody has to say yes. You don't have to sponsor somebody on the day to, to actually be a participant in the day of hope. It just means that collectively we are spreading the word. Um, and so if you want to be a part of that, um, then you would tell your director. So I'm going to put a post up tomorrow that says, you know, comment here or send me a message or a text if you want to participate in the Day of Hope. And I'm going to keep track of every single person on our team that wants to participate in this day. By participating, you get a gift. The home team is giving everybody who participates a um, keychain, a Trades of Hope keychain uh, made by the artisans in Haiti, and they're really, really cool. So you get a keychain just for participating, just for saying, yes, I want to do this, and on June 29th, yes, I will share the opportunity of being a compassionate entrepreneur, either by setting up one interview, by setting up four interviews, by walking around the mall and talking to six people, whatever it is, I'm going to participate on the Day of Hope. So you get your keychain. Now, throughout the day, and I'm going to work out the details of this, but throughout the day, we as a coaching team are going to be available to each other, to your downlines, to the rest of the team, because we all know how to sponsor, we all have wealth of information, we have confidence about sharing um, the opportunity, and so we're going to be available, and so you're going to make yourself available to your downline. Um, I'm obviously going to be available to everybody. We can do three-way calls, we can do FaceTime, we can do anything that you want to do throughout that day just to make it fun, make it exciting, make it personal. Um, I'm going to be uh, camped out at my Starbucks from 9 o'clock in the morning until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I'm going to try and set up my own interviews throughout that day, but if anybody that's local has people that want to pop by, you know, that, that you can set up an appointment and bring them there so we can all get together and talk that day. You can do that within your own local areas. Like it would be great if we could have a couple of things going on in Wisconsin and a couple of things going on in Maryland, a couple of things, you know, wherever you are in Maine. Um, but setting up, you know, like I'm going to be sitting at this Panera or this coffee shop or this McDonald's or whatever it is, you know, between 9 and noon and you set up your own personal interviews, try to get some of your potential CEs there, and then women that are on your team, you know, try to encourage them to come, even if they just come to hear what you say. That's participating. That's, you know, that's going to help everybody grow. Um, you know, we're helping people from wherever they are in their journey. So let's say you've got somebody on your team that's doing great, but they've never sponsored somebody, or maybe you've never sponsored somebody. I think everybody on this call has sponsored somebody. Um, but what if they sponsored their first person on the Day of Hope? Like, that would be wonderful. Um, you know, that would be really exciting. What if they just got their first interview? What if they got their first person to say yes to, to sitting down for an interview on the Day of Hope? Like, how exciting is that for them? What if, let's go beyond that, for some of you, this is very, very possible. What if you sponsored five people in a single day? Do you think you would ever be afraid of sponsorship again? Probably not. <laughs> and it sounds crazy, but it is totally possible, and I believe that there are people on this coaching team and in this team and in this company that will do it. As a company, we want to sponsor 100 women in a single day. As a team, I've set our goal at 25, but I actually think we could do more. Um, but, but I just want you to kind of think about how exciting that feels, and I think there's so much to be said for for group effort, that we're all, if we're all doing the same activity on the same day and we're all super focused, that it, it's going to be, can you guys hear me? Somebody type in yes, the chat I can, can hear me. I can oh, hear okay, you. all right. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, totally um, but just, you know, 
Okay, good. All right, so that focused effort of, of everybody doing the same activity on the same day. Um, okay, so you get the keychain just for saying tomorrow when it, when it, and you can actually say, you can join, you can say I'm going to participate tomorrow, you can, even if it's the morning of, on June 29th, you're like, all right, I'm going to share the opportunity with somebody. You can let me know, or let, or when it, somebody on your downline can let you know and you can let me know. I need to have the master list because I'm reporting it back to the home team and getting everybody their keychain. But you can let me know on that day you know, at noon, all right, I'm going to share the opportunity. I want my keychain. Great, whatever. And so there's not like a deadline for registering or being a part of it. You just have to say you want to do it and let, and let me know. And you get your keychain. Okay, so then there's more. And this is really exciting. So the keychain needs some keys on it, right? So you've got this beautiful Trades of Hope keychain. And then let's say on June 29th, you know, you've prepared over the next, you know, you're starting today. You can start preparing, setting up some interviews for this day. Um, I'm going to challenge you guys as a group to try to have at least four interviews on the actual Day of Hope, um, whether it's on the phone or in person. Um, but let's say that you sponsor somebody on June 29th. Yay! You're going to get a key for your keychain. And that key is um, from Haiti, hand, uh, hand stamped key that's going to to say inspire and then let's say later that night you've had a great interview that morning later that night you, you follow up with somebody and she decides to join that night you're going to get another key and it's going to say hope and then let's say a couple days go by and now it's July 3rd and somebody that you had an interview with on the day of hope has decided they want to say yes and they join on July 3rd you're going to get another key that's going to say create and then let's say another person that you interviewed calls you on July 5th and says, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and sign up. And you sign up your fourth CE in that time frame. You're going to get a fourth key, and it's going to say change. So you're going to get inspire, hope, create, change. So if you sponsor four women between the time frame of June 29th to July 5th, you're going to get your keychain, and you're going to get your four keys to go on it, inspire, hope, create, change, which is kind of our of hope thing. So that's super cool, right? Like, I want those keys. I want that, you know, I obviously want the keychain, but I want the keys too. So I'm going to be going for, for those keys. And I hope that all of you will be going for those keys and that you will be encouraging your teams to go for those keys. Um, but the whole thing is that no matter what, again, instead of the banana, go for the banana, right? Like, if it's keys, you're going to shoot for keys. If you don't get the keys, that's okay because we are all going to move forward and grow in our ability to share the opportunity, in our confidence to share the opportunity, um, you know, because we're all going to be doing it together and cheering each other on and giving each other the words and the tools. And, and, you know, learning by doing is the greatest possible thing that we can do. And so encouraging women on our team who, who want to sponsor but have just never been able to, to get up the guts to, to do it, this could be the day that they do it. And you know, so I'm I uh, so that's then so that's all the first part. That's the keys and the keychain, and the day of hope extends from actually June 29th is the focus actual day of hope. But then you can sponsor between June 29th and July 5th to actually earn those keys. Okay, so that's kind of the one part. And then there's more because some of you on this call are um, already qualified for leadership. Um, you have six CEs, some of you have seven um, for the year, year to date. Um, some of you are almost qualified, you have five. But let's say you go out on the Day of Hope and you sponsor five more, which I know that some of the women, that all of you can do that. All of you have within you the ability to sponsor five women in a single day. I'm going to try and do it. <laughs> and I know that you can do it because we're all going to be doing it together. But let's say you're going into this Day of Hope with five CEs year to date. You want to qualify for leadership so bad. And let's say that you, on the Day of Hope, you sponsor three more. Boom. You have qualified for leadership. Not only if you got the six, but you actually got to eight. Well, now the company is going to recognize that you went above and beyond, and they're going to give you something else. And that is a travel bonus. So if you qualify for leadership and then you go above and beyond that qualification, the company is going to award travel bonuses. So let's say you get to eight between now and July 5th. If you get to eight CEs between now and July 5th and you actually attend leadership, you have to go, you're going to get $100 in cash to help cover those costs of coming. Let's say that you get to 10 CEs year-to-date between now and July 5th, by July 5th. 
the company is going to give you $250 in a travel bonus uh, toward, to, co to help cover your expenses at leadership. Let's say you get to 12, which some of you are going to do. The company is going to give you $500 in a travel bonus to help cover your costs to come to leadership. Now, some of you on this call are sitting at like eight or nine or ten CEs already year to date. So you're getting the bonus. If you've already got eight year to date, you're getting the bonus if you attend leadership. If you're getting, if you've already got ten, you're getting two hundred fifty dollars, like without even doing anything. But let's try to let's try to all get five hundred dollars if we're at that point. So you know, I just I think that that is so incredible. Um, the company is recognizing the sacrifices that women are making to be at vision trips and, and retreats and leadership, and they want to reward that and acknowledge that by helping with, with these travel bonuses, these travel stipends. Um, so I think that that is absolutely amazing, and that is also encouraging those of you who are already at six to keep going, because we never want to stop. We always want to keep going. Um, so that's kind of the, oh, the other kind of things that will be happening that the home team is doing, the home team is going to, the distribution center will have kits ready to go, so they will have all the kits packed up and ready to send out on the Day of Hope, so anybody who signs up on the Day of Hope, their kit will be shipped that day. They also have a team, CE Development has a, a special script and a special team prepared to make welcome phone calls on that day, so literally women are going to sign up and they're going to get a phone call within an hour of becoming a compassionate entrepreneur. And they're going to be celebrated because they joined on the Day of Hope. Super cool. Um, the, also, in preparation for the Day of Hope, next Monday and Tuesday, in the, the two days leading up to Wednesday's Day of Hope, there's going to be 20 minutes. They're, going to, they're calling them readiness calls. So it's just going to be a little 20-minute call. Pam mm -hmm. Dean is going to lead them and then other directors are going to be on them. Um, the call on Monday is going to be kind of like, what do I need to do to prepare for Wednesday? What do I, you know, who, I need to start making my list and checking them twice and getting ready. Now, of course, we will all be doing this starting today, um, and then the, we'll be getting our teams doing this over the weekend, but Monday's call is going to kind of solidify and help you you know, cover all your bases. What do I need to be thinking about in preparation? Tuesday is another readiness call. What do I need to think about in terms of what I'm going to wear, what I'm going to say, what I'm going to have with me as I'm going throughout that day? What, I'm, what am I going to do that day? Am I going to go to the mall? Am I going to go, do I have set appointments? Do I need to generate some leads? Do I need to go, you know, to a park? Do I need to, you know, what, do, what am I doing that day? And where am I going to help share that opportunity? Um, and then just making sure that you're ready with your with the words to say, you know, and you know, I'm participating in this amazing day of hope. You know, trades of hope is is we're focusing today on on the opportunity to become a compassionate entrepreneur. Um, you know, our our team, our local team, has this amazing goal. We're trying to you know sponsor 25 women today or whatever it is that you want to say. We're going to prepare you for that. And then Wednesday is obviously the actual day, and we're going to be doing a lot of rah rah and, and check-ins, and I'll be I'll set up um, some live Facebook things and some you know you and you guys can share ideas about what you want to do and what you want me to do and what you know all that kind of stuff too, um, because I really we all need to be doing different things. Um, but and then by the end of that day, like you know leading up to midnight, the home team's going to do, um, you know, like the big tally, what did we do on our day of hope, how many CEs joined us in a single day, and how exciting, and then and then keep it going through July 5th as people are earning, earning their keys, and, um, you know, just celebrating, 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 celebrating all of the successes, and I want to celebrate all of the interviews that are set up, all of the leads that are generated, all of the things that happen on this team that are happening for the first time, and giving people, I mean, really, if you think about it, this day of hope, <laughs> for some people, it's going to be hope for them, hope for their business, hope for, you know, for the belief that they can do this. You know, we're not just creating hope in the world, we're creating hope for each other. And, you know, we have women on this team, there are women on this call right now who I know are feeling a little hopeless about sponsorship and about the future. And I want to inspire hope and create change in you, and I want you guys to do that for each other. So this is going to be a super powerful, wonderful day, 
and I know that it's a ton of information, and I'm, you know, I recorded it obviously so that the other 20 people can, or eight, well, there's 20 of you, so 12 people can listen to it. Um, and we might need to do another another call later to to kind of get all your questions answered. But um, what do you guys think? You can type in to the chat if you have questions, and then I can answer them, or you can um, unmute yourself and ask. But um, Anybody have an initial thought, question, reaction that you want to share with the group? I have a quick Aaron. question, Erin. This is spring. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody else is going okay. to. <laughs> okay. Okay, so my, very, my, my really quick question is with the travel bonuses, if you qualify for that, um, will the home team deposit that in your e-wallet so it's there quickly? How will that work? Yes, they will deposit it into your e-wallet once you have registered and, like, you know, you got to actually go to leadership, but then they'll deposit it in your e-wallet. Yeah, so you will have access to it immediately. Okay, great. Thank you. Awesome. Here, and this is Sarah. Hey. In Wisconsin. Hey. So my first thought, and it's just kind of an overwhelming good thought, is mm -hmm. I really believe that like doing it all on the same day is very, very powerful. Like, I don't know, mm -hmm. like, it's a systemic change at the same time and exponential, and I don't, I don't know. I feel like, like, as a company, I mean, it's exciting to know that, like, oh, yes, we're all working for the same mission and business, but all in the same day, I feel, I feel like our team could do 100 people. It gives me chills. You know? I know. It gives me chills. I know. I, I, I really do. I think that 25 totally gives me So, yeah, very exciting. And okay. I'm really, really awesome. excited to tell some of the reluctant sponsors on my little group, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much. And, then, and they time. get a keychain. I mean, yeah, like I love that you get a prize just for saying you'll try. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. I can do that. Awesome. Yes, it gives me chills, absolutely, to think about the power and the force behind this. You know, when we put so much energy behind something, we can do incredible things. And I have seen this team, like you said, do incredible things. And to know that we're all going to be focused so focused with our energy on this single day. And it's going to take some juggling, and it's going to be, you know, some of you are going to be out of town, and some of you are going to be, you know, like I've got my kids, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to hire a babysitter for a few hours, and I'm going to, you know, do some things to, to make myself available, but I've got a party on that night. But, you know, I'm going to go to the party, and I'm going to give hope at the party. And, you know, and that's why we have a team of coaches, too, that so – this is not like a burden on, on me or on you or on any individual person. We are truly doing this together, um, you know, and, and that's why each director and each leader can kind of cater it to what works for you. So, you know, if you tell me, you know, hey, I, this is what I can do. I can be available from 9 to 11, you know, at this McDonald's in Wisconsin or whatever it is, and this is what I'm going to do to, to, to make myself available. If you guys want to let me know those kind of things, then I can kind of put out a master, like, if you need help, this is where you can find it. You know, call this person. I can even put up everybody's cell phone numbers. And, you know, if anybody that – you can tell me the hours that you're available that day for, like, a three-way call or a FaceTime. And that way, it doesn't just have to be me. It, it can be anybody because you're all – amazing, amazing voices for this company and, and great sponsors. So I just, I want to empower you to, to, you know, take ownership of that. So, cool. Other questions? Erin, this is Jesse. Hi. Uh -oh. Sorry. I don't know if it's working. I can hear you. I can hear you, Jesse. Oh, okay, good. Hi, it's Jesse. Um, can you just one more time? I missed the beginning of the call. When is the day of hope? Is it a specific day of the month or the date? Yes. Yeah, it is next Wednesday. It is June 29th. So the home team is rolling it out tomorrow. Um, we had a um, we had a director's call this morning. We were on the phone for almost two hours with with um, Gretchen and the CE development and, um, and Pam. Whoever, you mute yourself, Jesse, because I can hear myself talking. Um, and and then, so then it's going to be rolled out officially tomorrow, like this is what's happening. And then the actual day is on Wednesday, June 29th. You want more pizza? Okay, go get it. You can go get it. Oh, I'll cut it. Um, yeah, I'll go get it. Okay, so yeah, so June 29th. So it's coming really fast. And the reason behind that, the reason this is all happening very fast is because we don't want you know, there's going to be people that, like, 
you know, potentially hold a CE. Like, I've got a girl that I'm talking to today at 2 o'clock. So I'm like, well, do I wait and have her sign up on June 29th so that I get the key? Well, no, I'm going to still serve her, and I'm going to sign her up when she wants to sign up. And, you know, she's got her hostess rewards, and if she's ready to go, I'm going to sign her up today. But then if then I'm just going to find four more people to, to bring on next week so I can get my key. So, you know, that's, that's why it's sort of a, a, a not – like an urgent time frame because, you know, and going forward, we're going to be doing more of these and we're going to be doing them as a team. Like we'll just do a day of hope kind of thing as a team. And then there'll be additional like national days of hope, but we don't know when they're going to be. It's going to, there's like an element of surprise to it and it'll just kind of like spring on us and then we'll just run with it. So, but again, that's part of the excitement and part of the fun and, um, and also keep people from like anticipating when they're coming and that kind of thing. So. Um, and also, this is Jesse. Real quick, I am going to go get my hair done, but I am really excited about the keychains. I actually have been giving handmade key keychains to my team when people join me, which is so I feel really proud of myself because of like in line with the company thought. But um, I think that's so cool, and I'm really really You're excited right you for sharing this with us. Awesome! And you're going to begin one of those travel bonuses. I bet. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks, Erin. All right. Thank, Thank you, Mom. Later. I'll talk to you later. I'll get, my, other... I'll get my stuff later. Do you guys Thanks. have any other questions? Anybody else? That wasn't the only question. I had to go get but my hand. initial response is, woo! -hoo! Yeah, right? <laughs> so exciting. No, and you guys, no question, like, but gonna... woo! Yeah, and that's going to come from us. You know, we we create the energy for this. We create the momentum. And I love, Pam kept saying the word momentum when we were talking and I this morning, and I wrote it down like super big, and I realized that the word moment is there and that we are we have to be in the moment, and that's what the day of hope is. It's being in the moment all day long, totally focused and fixated on sponsorship and growing growing our teams and giving women confidence and giving women courage and meeting women right where they are and serving their needs and in in the moment and that's how we're going to create this amazing momentum so yeah i'm super excited and i i want you guys to be just as excited and to help me you know pour out and generate enthusiasm into the rest of the team um, here's a couple what thoughts Go ahead. um this is veronica um at in on our side of town, the west side, west, west, southwest Orlando, I was thinking, well, I'll probably go in the evening to Panera mm -hmm. and hang out there. So, because we have a lot of ladies okay. on that side, so we can. On awesome. I'll give I you. Actually, I'll make sure to pass I along the details for that. And then, what I do you think about having a legacy it. event that night? Yep. Obviously, you yep. wouldn't lead right. it, and I wouldn't lead it because I'll be at the Panera. But somebody from our team can lead it. Yeah, yeah, maybe we could get um, an, one of the managers, either Jenny or Mary, to do it. Um, yeah, yeah, we could do that. Or we might do a combined one with Crystal's team. So yeah. that way maybe Crystal could do it or JoLynn or, um, yeah, definitely. We'll do a legacy event that night for sure. All right. Cool. Um, Amy Redshaw, you asked a question on my uh, – you texted me. Um, yes, the bonuses start at eight CEs, and if you have already achieved that, you already you're and you get the bonus. So that's good news. <laughs> Anybody else have a question? Gretchen, I want to hear from you. What do you think, Gretchen Quatichi? You there, Gretchen? Hey, Erin, it's Colleen. Hey, Colleen. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hi. 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 Um, Hi. I missed the very beginning. Would you be, be any chance to have a moment to just like re do a quick little recap since I missed what the incentive is? I, re I recorded this call, so I'm going to oh, post the link okay. so you guys can listen okay. to the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome back, Colleen. I know, Colleen. I talked to Colleen this morning. She got back from Costa Rica last oh. night. So, yay. Yay. I'm going to be so making... I'm still spinning. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to, to hear everything that you will share. <laughs> I will. I will. I'll do a. I'll do a. Um, 
a little recap video on our group page, and um, and if you were following my group, there's a little bit of stuff there too. I'm going to try to finish it off over there too, and and finalize some stuff. But it was amazing. It was amazing for anyone on this call. Do not doubt. Go on a vision trip. Make it happen. It changes everything. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yep. All right, hold on. Good evening, Gretchen just said, um, my head has many people in mind. Call every hostess I've had. Call every customer from Tuesday's party. Yes. I mean, yes. Amy, I answered your question. Ooh, Jenna said, this makes me want to step out and ask everyone, even ones that I don't think would say yes. Absolutely. That was, Susan Johnson just posted about that. Like, go for it. You know, you don't make assumptions. This is the day to to just let it all fly. Let your let your trades of hope flag fly high on this day. Um, and and yeah, rack your brain. And you can start preparing for it now. That's what's great. Like it's 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 next Wednesday, it's less than a week, but that's actually a lot of time to start putting a list together and getting some interviews um, scheduled. I'm gonna try to do some group interviews and I am available. I'm gonna be I am gonna be at Starbucks that whole day, nine to well nine to two. So either an in-person, if you're local, if you want to bring somebody by and set up your interview at the Starbucks in Longwood, um, or if you want to do a three-way phone call, um, just let me know and I can I can chat with, if you're sitting with somebody and you want to me to talk to them for 10 minutes or whatever you want. Um, so just, you know, be thinking about that too. Um, Aaron, this is Sarah. Yes. Are they still doing the water lily wrap on the 29th? I know we had texted yes. about that. Okay, and so the water like lily that wrap will go. Okay. No, and the water lily wrap will continue through July fifth. Oh, perfect. what? I love it. Yes. Woo so the thank water you, lily you, wrap is, is a huge. That is a huge selling point. I know for for us, and that will continue. That will extend through July fifth. And yeah, everything is going to July fifth in terms of qualification for leadership. You can qualify up to July fifth. Um, the the day of hope goes to July fifth. The water lily wrap goes to July fifth. Everything is through through the holiday oh, weekend. Um, that's awesome. You've got a really nice cushion of time. Um, and I know you guys can do it. I want you guys to set personal goals for yourself of how many women you want to sponsor on the day of hope. Um, and and I want you to to share those. You know, I created the group on Facebook, the message group for the for the coaches. So. You know, we can go back there and you guys can share your personal goals of what you want to do and then what, what you want to see your teams do. That's what I would love to hear from you. Like, Veronica, I want to know what you think your team can do on the Day of Hope. And, you know, and, and Jenny, I want to know what your, you know, or whoever. Like, it does, and even, like, those of you that are that are, are mixed into downlines, like Sarah Fine Silver, how many women do you have on your team? Just you, Sarah, that you are the, the top of team line of. 14, okay. So yeah. of your team, how many CEs do you think your 14 women can sponsor in a single day? I think 10, including me, 10. Awesome, awesome. So you Woo! can take your team from 14 to 10 to 24 in a single day. Like, think about that, guys. Like, that is so powerful and so doable. Like, it's, I'm just, I, I know, I'm going to be, you're going to, you guys are going to get so tired of my enthusiasm because I am, no, I think I'm it's so a great, it's a great teaching tool for us as mm -hmm. upline to our CEs because, like Emma, yes. Emma is an absolutely yes. amazing CE and amazing seller, but she oh. wants to develop this sponsor skill, and like now she and she's on this to, like, coaching develop it. team. I put yeah, and I put she's on this yeah. coaching team because so, like that's, yeah. it, that's her heart is like to do that, and I yep. feel like oh my gosh, it's just so amazing. I know, and this, yeah, this, this is, is great uh, timing. Yeah, Gretchen, well, Gretchen and Pam both described this this day, this whole thing as a game changer for individual people, for individual teams, for large teams, for the company as a whole. It is truly, truly a game changer. We talked about on the call this morning that something that for whatever reason, as Trades of Hope, you know, compared to other direct sales companies, compassionate entrepreneurs don't feel like we have the same level of control over sponsorship. Like we feel like it's just up to somebody else. That we don't have as much power to help share the opportunity or encourage people to join or help people get to a yes. 
for whatever reason. Um, but we, we do, and we can, and we, we just have to ask more people. We have to find the right people to ask, and we have to, we have to ask in the right way, and we have to create urgency, and we have to, you know, believe that people will say yes to us. You know, we have to project, you know me, project it into the universe. Let's project some big, big things into the universe for this, and, and really, really change, um, change the game. Because I think that we can, I think that we can do that. And then, what I want you to think about too, you know, here is it is the perfect time, Veronica, because we're going into July, which is, um, you know, an interesting month. It's a great month for learning the ropes, building momentum, getting some parties on your calendar, and starting to book for the most wonderful time of the year for the fall, and building up the momentum into the into August, September, October, November, and and you know this is the best time to become a CE because you have this kind of lull in your in your life. The kids aren't in school. Your schedule is a little lighter. You know you're able to learn the ropes and do some parties in July, and then boom, you have, you are running in August, and you're paying for your family's Christmas, you're doing things, you know, you're taking a ski trip that you didn't think you were going to take, or whatever it is that you're doing, and, and you know, and it's all because you started in, in the end of June, beginning of July, because it's the perfect, perfect time to start. So, um, all right, Jen, I see that you have a specific question. I'm going to, we're going to take that over to the message um, and address it over there. So, but that's a good question. Jenna says, I have a CE that's going to join at the end of the summer because she needs to get things right for her life. Is there a way to encourage her to join now? I don't want to be pushy. And you don't want to be pushy. And and if it's not the right time, that's what I mean. Like my girl that's signing up today, I'm not going to make her wait until Wednesday to sign up. I want her to sign up today. If I have a girl that wants to sign up at the end of the summer and, and truly that makes more sense for her life, I'm going to let her sign up at the end of the summer. But I'm going to go out and find four or five other women that I'm going to try to get to join on the Day of Hope. So, you know, it's, it's okay don't, don't, you know, your eggs are not all in one basket. They, there's so many baskets out there and so many eggs and so many women who don't know about Trades of Hope or who, who know about it but just need you to, to share about the opportunity um, in a little bit more of an intentional way. So, so don't, don't worry about her. You know, let her take her time because Lord knows. I mean, Danielle Lang, who's going to be listening to this call later, she, she took three years to join. I would, I would have never wanted to make her join when it wasn't the right time. And I would never want to do that to anyone. And, you know, because Danielle took her three years, and now she's one of my strongest branches. It's amazing. It's amazing when you give women, you know, the grace to make their own decision. But it's also amazing when you put energy behind something and help somebody make that leap. So we're going to be, you know, in the moment, creating momentum, helping women make the leap, and we're going to do amazing things. So I'm going to end this call, and thank you guys so much for getting on. I know it was super last minute, and I'm going to uh, convert the recording so you can listen to it again because it was a ton of information, and some of you came on a little bit later. Um, more to come. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.